Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I just wanted to create this quick video and share a little bit about one of the biggest frustrations that I have with Uber Eats and DoorDash right now. So as it stands, a lot of restaurants now are sealing the bags. And so you show up, you tell them you're there for an order, and they hand you the bag and you're not supposed to open the bag up to see if all the contents are in there. And especially on DoorDash, on DoorDash we're supposed to hit the little check marks that say, hey, these items are in there. But there's no way for us to verify that. I just dropped off an order to someone uh, from McDonald's. I know a lot of you probably don't do McDonald's, but this was a $13 trip for very few miles. Uh, and I drop it off. Part of the problem is that this person, I don't know, sometimes people, they can't text and call through the app for some reason or another, and this person couldn't. And I texted him, let him know I was on the way. Uh, he messaged me back and said, yep, meet me here. Met him there. Are the drink? I hand him the bag and he says, are the drinks in there? I said, absolutely, the drinks are in there. And I saw them put drinks in the bag. However, they didn't put the other half of the order in. And so I have no way to communicate with this person after the order is delivered. I had no way to verify it. And who gets the thumbs down? The delivery driver, not the restaurant. And because it's a Saturday, I have no way of getting in touch with support and making sure that I don't get dinged for a mistake that the restaurant made. And this is the case with DoorDash. And uh, the same thing happens has happened to me on DoorDash before where I drop an item off. It appears that everything is in the bag because the bag's pretty heavy and there's an item or two missing and I get the tip revoked. I get the thumbs down and the restaurant gets off scot-free. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this as well. When it's happening during the week, getting a hold of support is a lot easier, but on the weekend or late at night, it's just not possible. Let me know how you handle a situation like this. I had no recourse. Um, I wasn't going to go back to the restaurant because I was halfway home at that point. I had ended my shift and I had no way of getting in touch with the customer anyway or getting hold of anyone at Uber Eats support. You know, I guess I just take the hit on my account, but it's happened a couple times now where the restaurant messes up and the delivery person takes the blame for it. That's all I got for you today. My name is John from Ride Upstate. Remember, just because you're in a small market, you don't need to settle for small profits.